Hello, my name's Danny Rowlands. Uh, I'm the Deputy Head Wellbeing. I've been at Merkiston for, this is my seventh year now. I did my first five years as a housemaster. And I'm now going into my second year as a, a Deputy Head. So I think the added value that people get when they come to a school like Merkiston is the fact that we are a small school. We don't just say that we look after boys as individuals, we actually do it. We don't just say that there are lots of opportunities, we actually steer the boys towards those opportunities. I think in larger schools, yes, there may be many opportunities, many of which also exist here, but the onus is very much on the pupils to go and look those out for themselves. And whilst we would certainly want to encourage a bit of independence in that respect, it's also helpful when there's a really tight team around every single pupil that can steer them towards all the things that, that are on offer in a place like this. My best bit of advice to my younger self would be never say never. Uh, I used to, I think it would be fair to say, live my life according to the things that I'd always said I wouldn't do or didn't want to do. I was never going to be a police officer and I was absolutely never going to be a teacher. I then ended up being a police officer for a few years and I'm now going into my 12th year of, of teaching. So I think that would be the most valuable advice I could give myself. What's the best lesson a student's taught me? I think a lot of people view education as a one-way process. They think teachers are there to, to pour knowledge out of a bucket into the students that are, that are sitting before them. And that couldn't be further from the truth. It's a two-way transfer. But there is one particular thing that stands out for me, and it was from my time as a housemaster. And I'd left my office just for a few minutes, and one of the pupils had come in, and he picked up a, a board marker, and he'd written on a whiteboard that I had on the wall. And he'd written, always be yourself. Being anything else is pitying who you really are. And I just thought, how poignant and how true, if we do try to present as someone we're not, then there is in that an implicit dissatisfaction with who we really are. So I thought that was a really powerful little, little quote. There is no typical Mercostonian. We would hope that people leaving these walls would do so with common values and that the four central tenets of a Merkison education would hold true, that they would build strong foundations, commit to community, ready for life, and that they would seize all the opportunities in front of them. That is something we would certainly hope they would share. But beyond that, it would completely undermine our message that we we unearth the talents of individuals. We look after our pupils as individuals. Everyone has different talents. Everyone needs nurturing in a different way. The end product of that is always going to be different. There are lots and lots of benefits of, of educating boys uh, alone, separately from girls. I think predominantly it removes a lot of fairly artificial external pressures and it gives the boys a safe space in which to explore who they are and who they want to be. A lot of emphasis in education tends to be placed on what people want to be, what they want to do when they grow up and not often enough I think do we place that emphasis on the who they want to be and to have a safe space for them to explore that is hugely important. There are too many reasons to, to come to Merkison for me to list them all here, but I think the one overarching reason is that we are unique, and that is an absolute term. You can't be quite unique. We are the very best of a school that's on the edge of a capital city with all of the amenities and opportunities that that affords, and sandwiched between that location and on the other side, the Pentland Hills and the open countryside and all of the opportunities that that also provides for us. We also have an incredibly strong focus on individual care. And whilst we talk about seizing opportunities, as a small school, we don't simply send the boys off to specialise in one particular area. We encourage them to do a little bit of everything. So you will find a boy who perhaps plays in the first 15 rugby team, but also sings in the choir, dabbles in other sports, goes out on a Wednesday afternoon to do the community service and help in the local community. And that, I think, is our abiding strength. Thank you.